If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for everything. The I Stand for Peace, Justice and Forgiveness initiative urges young people to choose alternatives to a life of crime and offers coping strategies to deal with conflict. The initiative is a collaboration between Education for Democratic Citizenship and Miku Secondary School. Sometimes you just have to take the situation, the teaching of um, how crime and violence impacts the student's life and we figure we would take them out of the classroom and bring people in to give them kind of like personal experiences so that students can really understand the impact of crime and violence on their own future and so we include things like um, problem solving skills um, among other things so that students can start thinking about could take those skills with them and apply them to just regular situations like when they get into um, little conflicts with their with their peers how to handle it some some tactics some skills some techniques just to handle situations that are going to come up and then hopefully they could take these skills with them into their grown up lives and that will really affect change effect change in our country the activity featured testimonies from individuals who have been negatively impacted by crime and violence. I will be speaking to the, to the, to the kids about crime in many different factors. The causes of crime, which is lack of employment and lack of education and the, um, the wrong upbringings of our, our students and lack of sporting activities and lack of programs and lack of money, you know, and poverty. These are the causes of crimes and I want to tell them that, you know, in spite of these causes, we could rise above that because I want to use myself as a testimony and I want to give testimonials of when I was incarcerated and how I was able to, to rise above that and to overcome that obstacle in my life. Former inmate Jonathan Ninja Dan St. Rose instructed the youngsters on conflict management, emotional intelligence and self-awareness. I am a, a visionary and I do wait for things to happen or I do wait for crime to happen. I, I operate proactively and rather than 43 murders are committed, you find three murders are committed because what I'm doing is very impactful on the youths and I will continue to do that as well you know so my job here is to just come and guide the youths and show them a way out so I'm here to give them that encouragement and that empowerment that hey even if the bed of roses don't look like it's supposed to be but hey we can do it once we have that light inside of us and once we have the breath of life we could do it man there is hope Philanthropist Dr. Venus Cherry is no stranger to the impact of crime, having lost a brother to gun violence. So hopefully I can share my own story with the children and let them know that. We need to let the law handle those things. We need to have better conflict resolution. Um, we need to be able to see things in a different light, because if I'm standing in one place, a six can look like a six, but if I turn in the next direction, a six can look like a nine. So your perspective is not always right not always wrong but we need to communicate more we need to talk to each other a lot more and we need to be able to understand that if we just have love and understanding we don't need a gun the initiative forced students to dig deep and realize that crime is an issue which affects society as a whole i think some people play a blind eye to it because they live in the gated communities because they work in a lawyer's office or they work in a doctor's office or they relatives to a high-ranking police officer but crime affects all of us crime can affect the economy in a manner where your business cannot thrive crime can affect the economy where your gated community is now the 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 the, the, the target of a robbery and a robbery can go bad someone might not come with the intention to kill you but at the point where they're coming in trying to get something and they get frightened and they feel like they will get arrested you can lose your life we all have a part to play and we need people in those gated communities to take a stand as well to stand with us and put a stop i mean we cannot stop crime altogether but we can all assist in one way or the other it could be like oh, giving somebody a job it could be like a, a, a mentor to talk to young people but we all have a part to play students hoped the initiative would spark a change in youth mindsets leading them to choose more positive life paths 
I think it's a great activity so it can teach us more about crime and what we don't want to do and what we don't want us to become as children and adults coming up in the industry. I think it's a great activity. It can help a lot of people and change lives. And I believe what they are teaching us today, it can go a long way so it can change lives and change what people are doing today. The exercise is very good. It's a very good activity for the students of the school. Especially the rate of our crime in the country and how rapidly it has increased. And what will be taken part in the activity will change the students' decisions about what, what, how to deal with violence and what to do. Whatever has been taking place today will go a long way in assisting us in the future. The Miku Secondary School Initiative also called for students to look within and center themselves on principles, committing to live by them. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.